Dear Ashley, you're invited to a special event with Wilson and the legend that is Roger Federer in Berlin. Let's go. As always, I try to make my play tests as unique as possible for you guys, and this one is really special, as Pro Direct have flown me out to Berlin to test out Roger Federer's new line of rackets, the RF line. And if play testing in Berlin wasn't cool enough in itself, I'm actually gonna be taking you guys over to the Lever Cup Arena to hear from the GOAT himself. And so whether you're here to get the lowdown on these new rackets or to see Roger, you won't be disappointed. Let's go. So before I got to test the rackets, I had the most incredible opportunity to watch Roger Federer playing in the flesh. To be honest, I didn't think I was going to get another opportunity to do this in my lifetime, but it was truly magical. I got so much footage of it playing. I'm probably going to make another YouTube video on this, so let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see that. As well as watching Federer play, we actually got to hear from him as well and hear about his journey in creating this line of rackets. The interesting thing was he actually tried to get these rackets made for the end of his career as he felt that he wanted to increase the speed of his forehand. He didn't want to focus on his backhand and what he called his weaker shot. He wanted to get more out of his weapon, that big forehand. And to do this, he wanted a racket that can fly through the air a little bit quicker, something slightly more lighter weight than his 340 gram racket. This is where the RF line came in, as there are three rackets in this lineup. You've got the standard RF1, which is 300 grams. I think this racket is gonna be the one that is most versatile and is sold to more players of different abilities. I think this is the one that I would be choosing to play with. There is a 320 gram version, which is called the RF1 Pro. That's the one that was designed specifically for Federer. And there is a future version, which is 280 grams. That racket is designed for up and coming junior players, but also maybe players that aren't strong enough to wield around a 300 gram racket. All of the rackets are a 16 by 19 string pattern with a 98 square inch head. The interesting thing about Federer, you may know, is he started playing with an 85 square inch head, which is incredibly small. A very, very difficult racket to play with. He also played with very heavy rackets through his career as well. And so his aim when making this line of rackets was to make something a little bit more consumer friendly that more players could play with. He did move from an 85 to a 90 and then to a 97 square inch head during his playing days. I've actually got one in here. This is his signature Pro Staff, the Pro Staff 97. And what you'll notice, the difference between the Pro Staff rackets that he played with during his playing days and the new racket that he's created is really the shape of the beam. The Pro Staff is known to have a flat beam, whereas this new racket, the RF1, has an elliptical shaped beam, which basically makes this part of the frame thinner, making it more aerodynamic so that it could fly through the air quicker. The other thing is this is a foam filled racket. This is supposed to help with its dampening and to help with its feel as well. So that'll be really, really interesting to see how that goes when I'm hitting with it. Uh, and finally, They've actually removed the famous PWS system. And I'll show you in this one here. You can see these two sides at nine o'clock and three o'clock on the frame have these little bumps. And what these do is they add a little bit of weight to these two parts to give you a little bit more stability. And for somebody like Roger Federer, who hits with a single-handed backhand, that stability is really, really important. And so it will be interesting to feel how stable this racket is when I'm playing with it. But what they have said is that it's much quicker through the air and much easier to play with than the pro stuff. Now, how can I not mention the cosmetic of this racket? Roger Federer is a classy guy and this is a classy looking racket. It's got similar vibes to his um, signature Pro Staff, the blackout one here. But as you can see, looking at the frame here, it's very, very minimal in its design. It's got this pinstripe through here with his classic RF logo on the racket, but also on the butt cap. And what you might not notice, I'll show you a little close up here, is at the top of the frame, it kind of fades from a black into a silver. And um, it looks nice. The interesting thing was when Federer was actually hitting with it on the practice court, he was explaining that he wanted to add this kind of slightly glistening effect to the top of the racket. You know, I feel like the, the tennis swing is something so beautiful. Mm. And if you can highlight it with a, a lighter color at the top of the frame, 
so let's say white or a silver racket, and in this case also going to the anthracite, going from the black into the fade, that actually should leave like a glare through the, through the swing, because I always thought it looks very nice, let, let you know. Me, can I correct you on one thing, Roger? Yeah. Your tennis swing is so beautiful. I'm not <laughs> no, no, sure no. about all the rest every, of Every tennis yes. swing. T tennis is a beautiful yeah, sport. that's true. So, let's test it out. So, when it came to the play test, I actually hit a ton of balls on these carpet courts, which were pretty quick, but it was um, a good test of my reactions. How did it feel? Now, I had a few ideas of how it was going to feel before I hit some balls. I, I've watched tons of reviews already. And um, what surprised me was how much power I got from this racket. I was expecting it to be very difficult to play with. I was expecting it to be more of a control-oriented racket, which it is still, but it certainly moves through the air much, much quicker than the pro staffs that I've tried before. Um, and in turn, I felt like I was getting real pop on the ball. Sweet spot size, I would say it's pretty small. Again, similar to the Pro Staff, as it is more of a control and precision oriented racket. When you hit that ball cleanly on the sweet spot, the ball really flew. Um, and I'm quite a flat hitter when it comes to my forehand, so it kind of suited my game quite well. I would say that when I hit the ball off center, you definitely felt it. With this being a 98 square inch head, it's slightly smaller than the head size that I'm used to playing with, but it has a more open string pattern as it's 16 by 19. When I say open, it's pretty dense in the middle of the string bed, but it's more open towards the side. So still offering you a really good amount of control for that 16, 19 string pattern. The swing itself felt pretty comfortable. I think the balance point is great. The weight of it is great for me. I know that some people that have tested and used this racket would like to add a little bit of weight to this version. Um, but for me, I think it played beautifully. What I love is they've still kept this true to Roger Federer's game style. And I know a lot of people out there would love to play like Federer. So if you are somebody who plays with lots of variety, has quite a classic game style, likes to serve, likes to volley and slice, then this racket is a really, really good option. When it came to volleys, I felt that the racket was super crisp, super controlled and really stable on those shots in particular. So who is this racket for? Now, I think that the 300 gram RF01 is suitable for advanced players, players that time the ball well, players that already hit the ball pretty cleanly, um, quite classic playing players that hit quite flat and like to slice and come into the net a little bit like Roger. Who is this racket not for? I would say that it's not suitable for beginners. Um, even the lighter racket is not that forgiving. But if you're an advanced junior player, I think that 280 gram version is quite a nice option. But honestly, the 300 gram version and the 320 gram versions are gonna be the ones for those high-end advanced players, as you do need that extra weight when you're playing with a more control-oriented racket. Personally, how it looks is exactly how I would like a racket to look, so this is definitely my cup of tea. And for those of you who are die-hard Roger Federer fans, there's a lot of you out there, that logo on the butt cap is gonna be the selling point. This is definitely a racket that if you're playing well with it, you're playing really well with it. As when you do hit it on the sweet spot, the ball is so clean, it moves so quickly and it's so precise. But when you do hit it off center, you do really feel it. And so some people love that feeling, getting the feedback from each shot, knowing if you're hitting it off center or cleanly can help some players. But if you're a less experienced player that hits the ball slightly off center quite frequently, this is gonna be a really difficult racket to play with. So a massive thank you to ProDirect for bringing me along on this really exciting experience. I loved playing with these rackets. I loved watching Roger and hearing from him. Um, let me know in the comments below if you've got any questions about these rackets and I'll pop a link in the description as ProDirect, I've got a little discount code for you. Take care. Looking good, Rog. Hey, feeling okay? <laughs> Just, I don't know. This was, inten this was intense. <laughs>